Lee Gooch left his Southwest Atlanta apartment on January 5th. A week later, he reportedly was seen at the bus station downtown. Now Action News has learned that while Atlanta police were looking for him, Gooch was in jail in Tallahassee, Florida. In jail for 24 days between January 14th and yesterday. He was arrested for three traffic violations. He gave his name as Lee Kendall and said he was 19 years old instead of 15. That's why he was in jail instead of in the custody of juvenile authorities. We might never have found out that Gooch was in Florida if he hadn't given his Atlanta address to authorities there. They sent a traffic citation to this address. Gooch's father happened to mention the citation to WSB reporter Kalika Morgan. She contacted Tallahassee police, and this afternoon, FBI agents showed Gooch's father a picture of Lee Kendall. I'm positive that was him, the picture that they showed me, and they say it came from Tallahassee. In the month since Gooch disappeared, police have maintained that he is a runaway, and they have refused to add his name to the official list of missing and murdered kids. Apparently, their evaluation is a correct one. But police were not aware that Gooch had spent more than three weeks in jail, and until today, they had no idea where he had been. No one knows where Lee Gooch is now. Since a Tallahassee judge did not realize that police were looking for him, he let Gooch go, crediting him with time already served. Gooch's family is still worried. Well, I feel fine that knowing that uh, he was okay yesterday. I don't know how yesterday. Still worried about him? Yes. Mm -hmm. I sure am. Police in the Tallahassee area will be looking for Gooch. They hope to pick him up soon. Paul Miller, Action News.